Welcome to Dinosaur Provincial Park. The park became a protected area of Alberta in 1955 and was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. This viewpoint is a great place to capture the best panoramic views in the park and is also home to a teepee ring, which is evidence of this land being traditional Blackfoot territory. As we follow the park access road and descend into the valley, the park visitor center is located on the right. Just look for the building with the big red block on the roof. This is a great place to stop by and find the best places to visit in the park. Just ask the information officers at the front desk for suggestions. They can help you book guided tours of the natural preserve. And while you're here, enjoy the museum to discover the cultural, natural, and paleo history of this area. As we pass over the campground in Little Sand Hill Creek, we are entering the natural preserve. This is where most of the guided tours take place. Access to this area is restricted and is only accessible by researchers and visitors escorted by park staff on guided tours. We invite you to visit and enjoy the natural preserve with a guide so that we may share and protect the important fossil resources of our province. As we turn to the right, we see below us the 3.2 kilometer public loop road, a road with access to various hiking trails for visitors. It is from this road that the public may see fossil displays explore the hoodoos and geological formations throughout the year. There are also self-guided trails, such as the Badlands Trail, another is the Trail of the Fossil Hunters, and the Cottonwood Flats Trail. The fossil display houses number one and number two have parking lots to drive to. Fossil House 1 highlights a headless hadrosaur. We cannot identify the specific type of hadrosaur because the skull of this dinosaur was never found. Fossil House 2 is a reconstruction of the world-famous Centrosaurus bone bed that we visit on our Centrosaurus quarry hike program. This exhibit gives you an idea of what an active dig site may look like. Fossils are still found in this area every year, so keep a keen eye out as you walk around. You just may discover a fossil along your journey. We are entering the flats along the south side of the Red Deer River where an easy hiking trail, about 1.4 kilometers long, can be found. Here you can walk beneath the canopy of the beautiful cottonwood trees, some of which are more than 200 years old and are home to most of the park's 165 species of birds. Remember to bring your binoculars and see how many different species of birds you can find. The exposed bedrock that makes up the valley walls along the Red Deer River, hills and hoodoos of the modern-day Dinosaur Provincial Park, were deposited from 77 to 74.2 million years ago, and took almost 2.8 million years to form. By studying these deposits, we can better understand what the environment was like during the time when dinosaurs were roaming around this area. The lower 110 meters of the exposed geology consists of sandstone and mudstone of the Old Man and Dinosaur Park formations. The sediments that make up these formations were deposited in shallow waters such as rivers, swamps and estuaries. The Bear Paw Formation forms a thin interval up to 10 meters thick at the top of the bedrock succession and is mostly made up of mudstones deposited in deep water. The present-day Badlands landscape began to form about 13,000 years ago at the end of the last ice age. You can see how the continuous rock layers have been cut out by glacial erosion along the river valley. As the last ice sheet retreated from this part of Canada, water from the melting ice carved through the bedrock to expose all the rocks forming the valley in which the Red Deer River now flows. Continual erosion of the relatively soft sediment by wind and rain has helped sculpt the hoodoos. Even today, the average rate of erosion in the park is about 4 millimeters per year, which is enough to significantly impact the landscape, so the hoodoos in park area may look very different a few decades from now. I hope you enjoyed this quick tour of Dinosaur Provincial Park, and remember to come visit us so you can explore the park in person. While you are at the park, feel free to ask our information officers 
park communicators, interpreters and staff if you have any questions. They will be happy to help you. You can also learn more about what the park has to offer online at albertaparks.ca. For more information on the Dinosaur Provincial Park Minecraft model, go to the Alberta Geological Survey website at ags.aer.ca. Here you will also find other, even bigger 3D Minecraft models that can be downloaded and explored.